If you were watching the Oscars on Sunday, you would have noticed one very special USC student. We're sitting down today with Tracy Avis, an Academy Gold program intern and film and TV production student here at USC. Stay tuned, this is The Chat. So, let's just get into back, taking you back to your childhood and your um, want to be a, an aspiring mm -hmm. director. Mm -hmm. So, where did your love of filmmaking really begin? Um, Ashley, I was uh, 12 when I first made my first short film. It was for like a science class in seventh grade. Um, I think I've had the love of filmmaking all my life. But some of the movies growing up I was watching that really inspired me were like The Lion King and Titanic and all of those amazing like big movies. Um, yeah, pretty early on, I'd say. <laughs> and what do, you, what do you remember most about those movies that you were just like, wow, this is what I want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think the arc of the characters and the story, the plot, like great success and great failure in the movie, those are like themes that really got to me as a kid. And those are like themes that I still like strive to have in my own movies. So that's, yeah. <laughs> so you're an Academy Gold program intern. We yeah. all saw you with Michael Strahan at the Oscars. Such an inspiring Aww. moment. I remember I was watching from the couch and I heard USC and my ears kind of perked up and I was like, what? Who's there? Yeah. Um, you looked gorgeous, by Aww, the way. Thank you so much. I, that necklace was thank like you. to die for. Um, so I, what, can you tell us a little bit more about the internship? How did you get it? What kind of stuff do you do there? Yeah, so this was um, last year for like summer. I was trying to find an internship and uh, SCA, School Cinematic Arts, had a Twitter page. They posted a lot of like available internships. So I was just applying and one of them was uh, with Panavision, um, and Light Iron Panavision, and was partnered up with the Academy. And this was the first year that the Academy Gold program came about, so not many people knew about it. I didn't know what it was. I applied anyway, and I got the internship. And then I found out it was this big, like, huge family sort of thing, support group from the Academy of Motion Pictures. Um, they're partnered up with 22 companies, leading companies from all the way from pre-production to post to legal aspects and advertising and marketing. And there's a spot for every student to like find an interest in the entertainment industry. So it's it's pretty amazing what they do. Yeah. That is so spectacular. <laughs> yeah. I can't even imagine what your right. like day to day must be like. Um, and I know you when you were talking to Michael Strahan, he explained mm. that you get mentors through the program. Yes, so. Who are some of your mentors and what are some of the things you've learned from them? Yeah, so the GOLD program is divided up into three sections. It's the internship for three months and then you get into a mentorship uh, section. That's phase two, which is a nine month period of mentorship. Um, the students, the interns are, ma um, are matched with academy members as mentors. Um, my men mentor is, uh, is a, a, a director herself. Um, she had movies in Sundance and everything, so it's like a pretty unique experience learning from people who've been doing this for so many years. They just give you all the information instead of you, like, you know, spending so many years trying to figure it out yourself. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I know you want to focus on directing. Yeah. How, how did you kind of choose that path and that part of the movie industry? You know, I'd say SCA has been really helpful because it really just pushes you into every little corner of filmmaking and you kind of experience all aspects so just being here for the past two years has really opened up my eyes and I know that I like to be involved in the creative process every stage of the way not just one section so that's why directing it's it's very cumulative you're like there from pre-production to post so it's very exciting for me yeah. that's incredible I would love to like just switch places with Aww. you for one I would have no idea what I was doing but it would oh be just amazing um so, and part of the um, internship, you mm -hmm. are you have become a fourth director for the Box, yes. which are these <laughs> unique and amazing, wonderful mm -hmm. Walmart commercials. Yeah. So, can you explain for those of us who may not know what the Box is and right. what is your part in that? Right, of course. Um, Walmart has been teaming up with the Academy for two years. This is the second year. Um, and they're bringing on directors um, to create 60-second shorts. Um, last year's focus was the, a receipt, a Walmart receipt for, with a few items on it, um, beautiful films. And this year's focus is their blue box. So it's a 60-second short. It just has to have the blue box in it. And other than that, you're an auteur. You write it, you direct it. It's incredible. Um, and then this year, I was asked to be on Good Morning America, so I had an interview with them as an ambassador for Academy Gold, and they surprised me on, sh on the show oh live, God. which was just <laughs> awesome. They were like, we want you to be the fourth director. Wow. We're looking for a student filmmaker. 
So that was just, um, that was surreal. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. I, I can't even yeah. imagine like going, being on national television yes, and finding that I out. That I would have cried. I, I was like crying inside. <laughs> and so That's today, so um, International Women's Day mm -hmm. and four of the directors of the box are female. Yeah. Can you describe like what that is like? Oh my God. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's Nancy Myers and Melissa McCarthy and Dee Reese. These are people I look up to and I love their movies. Just like Ha being part of that group, part of the, like those names, it's just, it's, it's, I mean, I can't explain it. I'm speechless. It's just, I'm so proud. Of that is all the of four of you, there. like that's the dream team. That's Aww, so cool. Um, so you have to make a 60 second short now. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a great honor, to, but now you actually got to get to work. Right, right, so yeah. um, what is like your brainstorming process been like? Yeah. What kind of things are you thinking? Like, I know you can't tell us the whole thing, but what can you tell us? You know, um, it's been moving on really fast. Uh, I have like a few, I have until May because it's going to be premiering at the Bentonville on May 1st. So I need it to be done before May. So I really have just a few weeks. It's been crazy. You know, I still need to make a few calls with everyone involved. But for me, brainstorming is just really getting inspired. You know, a lot of the times I'm driving and I'm listening to music or I'm at home listening to music. Music really helps me like the emotional level. So it's just writing, you know, I have my notes app on my phone, just writing all of my ideas down and just seeing how I can outline any of them and really stand out to me and just developing it from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think a, a lot of people don't realize how much work goes into like oh, a God. 60 second yes. spot. <laughs> what, what do you know about that so far? Um, I have to say a lot of the movies I've made have been more than 60 <laughs> seconds, like at least five minutes. So this is very scary, but challenging and exciting at the same time. Um, I have a few weeks, you know, I think it's going to be a few days of shooting, obviously pre-production, getting the script approved, a few drafts of the script, and then moving into post. So it's going to be about a two-month process, all in all, you know, getting a composer on and all those details. Yeah, it's um, it's a challenge, but it's exciting. <laughs> wow, I, like very, very oh, much good luck to you. Thank um, you so much. But um, just going back to the Oscars, mm. because was oh, this your first time there? This was my first time at the oh. Oscars. <laughs> I just, can you even like put into words the oh, atmosphere? Like oh. what was the whole Ignite like? Oh my God, uh, surreal, surreal. Um, these are people that I've looked up to. I mean, directors, filmmakers, actors that I've seen all my life on screen, behind like camera. And like, I was in the same room with all these incredible people. It was just an unimaginable experience. It was, and also like the red carpet, it was so cool. It was just cool <laughs> being there. And I was also on stage handing out trophies to winners and presenters and just having that little like, you know, conversation with them or that interaction. It was just, it was crazy. It was really insane. Yeah. What was one of your favorite conversations of the night? If you could pick one <laughs> up, if you could share. <laughs> um, oh my God, there were so many. I'd say Sandra Bullock was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's so down to earth and humble. Um, Mahershala Ali was amazing. I got to mm -hmm. talk to him. Um, yeah, so many people. Guillermo del Toro, mm -hmm. after he won, he was so humble. I was like, congratulations so much. I was like, thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then I just can't even imagine being in the room during Frances McDormand's speech. Um, oh, I mean, yeah. I was just at home and I was like, yeah, girls uh, rock, like I can. <laughs> like, what was it like to be yeah. a woman in the audience during that speech? You know, I was actually backstage at that moment, and whenever, when she got up on stage and gave that powerful speech, everyone just stood up backstage, and we were all clapping. It was like a powerful, unifying moment, because there were so many women backstage, too. Mm -hmm. It was just amazing. I felt so, it was empowering, mm -hmm. I have to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now bringing it back to campus at USC, um, yeah. what are some of the things that you've learned from your program here that have helped you? You know, the program is very immersive. It's very cumulative. It's, um, it pushes you into every aspect of filmmaking. The professors are so great and supportive. Um, I just feel lucky knowing the professors. Um, the student team, they're all so dedicated to their craft. Um, it's just, it's become my second family. It's like my second home. So I don't know where I'd be or if I would be able to accomplish all these things if it wasn't for SCA. Mm -hmm. So I just feel very fortunate. Yeah. yeah. How about some of the best advice um, you have for people, some things that you've learned along your journey that you yeah. want to share? You know, I'd say for specifically film students, I was very scared to go into the field because it's not a guaranteed, like, a traditional sort of. I'd say don't be scared. That was the main thing I learned. 
if you have the love and passion for it, go for it, give it your 100% and it'll work out. Like, trust me, it'll work out. And also just be prepared to get all those no's. That's what the one thing I learned through Academy Gold and SCA. You're gonna get a lot of no's. Just don't be discouraged, keep on going and it'll work out. And it has. <laughs> That's absolutely, oh ooh, there we go. That's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Your story is just so amazing. I thank, oh, you, so thank much. you so much. We're all rooting for oh. you here at USC. We're so proud I of you to have it. you represent us. And good luck. You have, you have a couple you. months until, until yeah. we get to see the final product. So Yeah, no, we're all so excited. Thank, well, you, so thank you so much, Tracy. Really appreciate having you in here. And like I said, best of luck with everything. We'll thank be watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank <laughs> you.